Hello my friends, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Channel is a lovely weekend, it's a Friday, and we have started off our weekend. We thank God so much for giving us this weekend that we are going to start off today. It is evening on this side, so good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon, or good night, whichever place you are watching from. Yeah. So... I want to just say thank you and thank you so much for being with me on this journey and may God bless you and may you continue subscribing to my channel. If you are, it's your first time to come across this channel, please kindly do subscribe to this channel. Give me a like. Give this video a like. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, there is something that I observed. Mostly when I go to buy things from the shops, you see, when one is doing a business, and I wanted to talk about this thing, I don't know how I can address it, but it, it is, um, you are selling your items, and your customer care is very poor. You know, when you are selling your items or your products, you need to have a, a customer care language. You know, the way you approach your customers or the way you answer your customers when they come to your shop or even when you are employed somewhere in somebody's shop and uh, somebody, the customers comes in, the, how you handle the customer, you are, the interaction between you and the customer is something so important. And uh, most of us sometimes, I don't know that some people do forget or they don't just care, they don't care just because uh, they are not the owner, the owner of the shop or the owner of the business. But I think the customer is always right and the customer is the person who has employed you. And uh, for that matter, I think you should always be talking with the customer in a manner that she, he is your employer. She has employed you and that's why you are working there and you are earning out of what the customer is coming to buy. I don't know how I can put it, but uh, okay. I think you understand me. I think at least you can understand what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there was a time I had gone to buy a fish at the market and I found the, the ladies who are selling the fish. I found them in a group. It's like it's like they were backbiting people they are talking about their own stories, yeah. But they didn't it's it's like they never realized that I was around there. So I was wondering how and when I asked that like, how much do you sell this? And it, one of them just answered me very arrogantly as if I mean nothing to them. So I was wondering that how how do you interact with the with the customers? Can you give me a comment down below about how we need to interact with the customers? Even if you're working in an organization, for example, you're working in an organization, you are a customer care, you have your office and then somebody comes in and uh, how do you welcome this person? How do you welcome this person? Or are you just on your phone? You are doing your own things. You just have your phone and you don't care about the customer. Or judging customers. Some people do judge customers when you see a customer coming in. For example, you are in a, a shop where they are selling... You are selling um, phones, and you see an old mama coming in to buy a phone, and you are judging this old mama that she doesn't have money. You see her as if she cannot afford the phones that you are selling. <laughs> you are wrong, my friend, because sometimes this mama is just, uh, she doesn't want to be seen as if she has a lot of money. Maybe she just wants to buy an iPhone. And then you have judged the way your reception, the way you receive the customer is very poor to 
the accident and the customer will leave to the next shop. So this is very wrong because when you are doing this, you are not building this business here. You are right, you are a landlord, you can do anything that you want with the people who have come to to stay in your house, the houses, the, the rental houses that you rent out. So you arrogantly just talk to people because you feel you have money or what. People can run away and leave you with that your house. Yeah, just because of the way you are talking. So customer care is something so, so important. Wherever you are, just talk. Talk with your customers in a, a good way to attract them to the business so, so that the business can grow and glow. Another example is about uh, when you are working in an organization as a, I don't know, a receptionist or a, a communication officer. The other, those other days they were called telephone operators, but these days they are. Uh, communication officers. When you are a communication officer in an organization, you know you are the heartbeat of that organization. And first thing you need to do is to take care of the way you handle customers. For example, if you are a communication officer in Kenyatta National Hospital, that is Kenya, Kenya, Africa, Kenyatta Hospital, Nairobi. So the call comes in from Maybe somebody has just called you the, the organization and then what you need to say is that this is Kenyatta National Hospital, can I help you? This is Kenyatta Hospital, good morning, can I help you? But you don't just uh, pick a call and answer that, Kenyatta, or you just say hello. You know when you say that, the person who is calling will not know whether he has reached the place where he was calling. But if you sal identify yourself and salute the person who is calling, you won't be wasting time because uh, this person will know, uh, I've reached the place where I wanted to call. And so you make work easier. And this person who called, the customer who called that organization, will also know that these people they are doing their work well, and you, the, pass, yeah, the, pass, the caller will pass over his request or her request very urgently, and you shall have not wasted time, because especially in the hospital, you need not to waste time. Maybe this person who is calling, uh, he needs the ambulance or the, some emergencies or referrals to the hospital, so... There, there must be quick, 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 quick answer and service to that organization. That is, for example, if it is a, uh, if it is a an hospital, that is, and even so many other places. Even if you have a shop, even if you have what, whatever you are doing, even if you just, you are just selling your things from the farm, you know, if you don't take care of customer, uh, you will remain with the, uh, if, if there are tomatoes that you are selling from your farm, they will go to the next farm, to the person who is talking to them <laughs> in a good way. Yani? The, the reception is not poor. So the way we talk to customers is very important. And since it is a Friday, and we are going to the end of the month, which is Jan January, we normally say that January is so difficult because uh, there's no money, the business is bad. But uh, just change your attitude, the way you behave when you are doing your business, whichever place you are, even your work, where you work, just do your work well and uh, you will get... Uh, you will be blessed <laughs> from the good things that you are doing will always pay you off. So I wish you a lovely weekend. 
as you become a good customer care in whichever place God has placed you, be a good customer care. Mind how you pick you you you, you talk to the customers. Mind how you make the business grow uh, as concerns your behavior and attitude. Okay. If it is your first time to come across this channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like, share, comment, and uh, I love you always. Thank you so much. Seeing you again in my next video. Sweet, sweet weekend. Bye.